fact that Sinn Féin uh, don't have any sitting county councillors at the moment, do you think that uh, Claire and Dunica can change that? And just in relation to, I suppose, Paul Hayes was mentioned earlier, he cited the lack of um, HQ support as a reason for him to go independent. So maybe you could answer that. Well, I, I think that both Claire and Dunica can and uh, will change that. I, I hope that we're, we're going to have a successful local election. I think it's really important that people have strong local uh, representation. And I'm very conscious that uh, last time round we, we had a hard day out. Uh, we've worked extremely hard <coughs> since then, uh, and we've enjoyed um, great support uh, across the country and here in, in uh, West Cork. Uh, so we're going to keep at that, by the way. We take nothing for granted. You earn every single vote. You earn your support, and you work hard for your community to represent people uh, to the very best of your abilities. So the campaign is very much now uh, underway at a local level and indeed with Paul Gavin here uh, at a European level. Um, and in terms of Paul Hayes, I know Paul well, uh, and I, I, he knows that uh, I think the, the absolute uh, world of him. I would simply say this, if he's watching this or hears it, there is always a, a place and a space in Sinn Féin for, for Paul Hayes, and um, I, think he, I think he knows that. And now, collectively, we move on, and we get cracking, and we listen to what the community is telling us, we hear what the people are saying, and then it's our job to respond to that and do the very, very best job that we, that we can. And that's the message of change and of hope that we're bringing to the doorsteps right across West Cork and across the, the island, indeed, um, through d different election cycles. And, uh, Mary Lou, just while you're on walkabout in Bandon today, what, like, what were the key issues that people spoke to you about? Um, well, a apart from the rain and um, trying to insinuate that I had brought it with me from Dublin, <laughs> which I roundly reject, um, we talked about, I've, I've heard about the need for facilities, particularly for younger people in Bandon. There's a real frustration that for young people, th there's nothing to do. So th there needs to be a piece of work around um, accommodating young people. I heard stories about young people going and... As I've said earlier, we want to create every opportunity for them to come back. Issues around housing, that has been mm -hmm. raised with us, and I'm not surprised um, at that. I was, I was a bit taken aback that the issue of community safety was such a, a huge thing in Bandon. Um, and I know this is a reality across the, the board. We've seen the CSO figures. Mm -hmm. We know that the Gardaí are under pressure. Um, Resource-wise, we know that there have been issues with Garda morale, and you know that's a bad scenario because we rely on the Garda to keep our communities safe. But I was quite surprised that it is such a high-level issue here in Bandon. Um, so those were the types of things, and then the overarching message again is change. I mean, but but I'm hearing I'm hearing <clears throat> that all everywhere that I go now for a very very long time.